In the world of business, success goes to companies that lead revolutions, new ways of doing business that turn conventional wisdom on its head. To identify these companies, DP Information Group has listed some of Singapore's top performers, the Singapore 1000 family of rankings. Now we go inside these companies and unveil their closely guarded secrets to success. These are the velocities of growth. Running an architectural firm isn't easy. With design and technology changing rapidly, what's fresh today could be dated by tomorrow. Ong & Ong is one company that has managed to overcome that challenge, staying relevant for nearly 40 years. In fact, it's thriving with offices in six countries. Ong & Ong was founded in Singapore by the late Mr Ong Teng Cheong and Mrs Ong Siu Mei in 1972. Starting out as a small architectural practice, it was incorporated in 1992 then quickly changed in response to the changing business environment. So it started as an architecture with an urban planning angle, and it's evolved into a design sort of practice, not just limiting to architecture and master planning. So today we do the whole uh, nine yard, as they say it, the whole slew of nine yard of uh, design services in the organization. Thus, the company created what it calls the 360-degree solution. The 360-degree solution embraces the entire construction process as a singular integrated solution encompassing all aspects of development. It offers design solutions including architecture, urban planning, landscape architecture and interior design, engineering solutions and management solutions including development, project and construction management. In other words, it's a one-stop shop. But when you look at the building industry structure of services, it's quite fragmented today. In other words, the architects and engineers are from different companies, and interior designers and so on and so forth. So when we examine this structure, we realise that we can't achieve a 360 integrated product if we don't have everyone in-house, so we assemble them now today in this offering called 360 Services. The benefits are clear to see. Firstly, developers only need to deal with one party. They don't need to make phone calls to six different consultants and say, hey, come together for a meeting and resolve this. Just one phone call to the project leader, we get all the problems solved. It's only necessary that you have a single thread of design ethos that sort of strings everything through. So if you hire a designer to design your home, you want the interior sympathetic to the exterior and sympathetic to the landscape so that you have one seamless space. So architecture, interior, landscape, graphic design, they're all seamlessly strung through. And we are effectively trying to be that. That's why we call it the 360 design solution. The 360 solution has been adopted in many Ong and Ong projects to date. One key example is the Quincy Hotel, completed in 2007. In this project, Ong and Ong took on the roles of architect, landscape architect, interior designer, product designer, and brand consultant. Not only have we done the architecture, but the architecture influences or inspires the graphic designs. So we design all the compendiums, the packaging, we design the logo, we've done them all. And then that in itself became inspiration for the interior designers. So a lot of the interior design cues come from a graphic design. Using the 360 degree solution, the company was able to pursue projects out of Singapore with great success. The 360 de design solution approach has worked very well for Ong and Ong. In particular, our overseas market like China, India, Vietnam. It has worked well because we are able to offer an integrated approach to consultancy in a very refined manner because everybody is involved upfront rather than a sequential appointment which is the normal case.
case in many projects, even in Singapore. The 360 solution as an idea has attracted a lot of smaller firms uh, and the growth has been tremendous and very encouraging. Over the past 12 months, uh, we have grown by about 30% in our staff strength. And that's because 360 offers a lot of opportunities to smaller firms who would not have seen bigger projects coming their way. I think in the next 10 years, our mandate, our corporate mandate, will be to simply carry on where we've started. Vision is 1%, but the alignment is 99%. So I don't think we'll change for the next 10 years. All indications show that it is a positive thing. Clients are liking it, particularly regionally and internationally, because when a client comes looking for a uh, knowledgeable consultant, they don't want to be told this I don't do, that I don't do, this I don't know, that I don't know. What we put on the table is we can be your solution provider. Providing complete solutions has worked well for Ong and Ong so far. However, clients' needs are becoming more complex. The latest trend is environmentally friendly design. How does the company meet that demand? Ong and Ong started as an architectural firm, but then grew into offering other complementary services as well. In 2003, it ventured into interior design, and the year after that, into landscape design. The company is now a one-stop shop, offering complete design solutions for clients. The strategy has paid off handsomely. In 2005, it set up its first overseas office in Vietnam. Offices in China, Malaysia and India followed just a year later. To grow their international reputation, Ong and Ong has now established an office in New York, USA. When we go into an overseas market, we uh, look at a long-term investment. We don't think of ourselves as a um, so-called overseas party that go in, do our job, and then bring the uh, profits back to Singapore. We look at long-term investment in terms of uh, building a reputable, uh, good local practice in those countries. So what it means is that we invest in the people there. In the last four decades, Ong and Ong has painstakingly built a reputation for stunning architectural, interior and landscape design. The company now has a staff strength of nearly 600. It manages projects in 18 countries, spread out over three continents. The collective staff strength of its overseas offices now accounts for almost 30% of the group. In 2010, the company's group revenue grew by 66% from the previous year. Ong and Ong's projects have also won a slew of awards, both local and international. This is Conservation House on Blair Plain, a single-unit renovation and restoration project which has won an Architectural Heritage Award from Singapore's Urban Redevelopment Authority. The prestigious International Architecture Award and awards for Best Property Single Unit in both Singapore and the Asia-Pacific region at the Asia-Pacific Property Awards 2011, among other accolades. Other award-winning projects include the Quincy Hotel, an elegant boutique hotel in Singapore's prime Orchard Road Belt, City Square Mall in the bustling Little India district, and Orchard Scots, a luxury condominium also nestled in the heart of the Orchard Road area. But the company can't rest on its laurels. In the rapidly changing world of architecture and design, Ong and Ong has found itself confronted by a new trend, an increasing demand for environmentally friendly structures. Thankfully, its emphasis on integrated design has allowed it to meet these demands. I see that uh, green building projects cannot be seen in isolation. It really has to work with all the other things to create this came back to a 360 holistic offering. So I would like to see on and on combining the best of green building technologies, green building knowledge with innovations, innovations to enhance the user experience, to enhance product creativity. So if you put those two together, I think that is more likely what we will be 
building ourselves up for in the next few years. Clients do pick up articles that has uh, featured Ong & Ong winning awards and they do come to us because of our strength in design and that is something very important to an architectural firm where design separates us from the others. Now with regards to the other kind of awards which are more technical based like your green mark incentive scheme, your construction excellence that is also important to us because clients know that over and above doing good design we are also able to compose their buildings technically in a very sharp and focused manner. As proof of the company's ability, several of its buildings have received Singapore's Building and Construction Authority's coveted Green Mark Platinum Award. One of them, City Square Mall, is billed as Singapore's first eco-friendly mall, designed and built with cutting-edge green building technologies. And 100 Trees is a 396-unit residential development which is slated for completion in 2014. Ong & Ong has been able to adapt to a changing business environment and an increasingly competitive industry, and it's determined to continue innovating to maintain its advantage. Innovation goes beyond skin deep. Innovation covers beauty, it covers uh, technological breakthrough, it covers uh, brilliance in environmental shaping. So I see that as the key to changing the environment in come up, coming up with superior product. And that's why for us this year, we have made innovation the theme, the key driver for our whole business group. And I think that is going to be the thing that differentiates a good architecture, environmental engineering practice from others. Ong & Ong's 360-degree design solution has provided a total yet customised service throughout the entire construction process. And its commitment to refining its strategies allows the company to meet future challenges. The Jumbo Group is one of Singapore's biggest players in the food and beverage industry. Its seafood outlets serve more than 4,000 customers daily, selling more than one tonne of live crabs every day. It has been consistently listed among the top 500 companies by sales turnover in ranking body DP Information Group's Singapore SME 1000 for several years running. The group's success is a remarkable turnaround from its early years. The Jumbo story began in 1987 when a group of seafood-loving friends took over a failing restaurant at the East Coast Seafood Centre. They immediately set about upgrading its service and revamping its recipes. Soon, Jumbo Seafood became famous for its chilli crab and black pepper crab. On the heels of this success, they tried to expand their business but soon ran into problems. Mr. Ang Kiam Ming is now the Jumbo Group's CEO. Our first uh, outlet, first branch, ran into a legal issue with its lease and we were forced to close after less than two years of operation, losing our entire investment of more than $1 million. It was a painful lesson. Our first overseas expansion plan also did not work well. We had to close after one year of operation. We learned that successful business expansion required more than just good food and good service. It needed very sound fundamentals, which we did not have at that time. Realising this, we decided to slow down our expansion plans and focus instead on developing and strengthening our management and operational capabilities. The company introduced formal management systems in human resource, finance and other areas. Before long, the company was winning awards not just for its chilli crab, but for its service as well. It soon built a loyal group of followers. Mr. Jimmy Teo has been a customer for the past 10 years. I think the most memorable one is the one that um, uh, which I did my marriage proposal in Jumbo. And uh, in fact, it was a, a, a regular weekend gathering with a group of friends and uh, nobody would, would have expected it was a proposal. And in fact, uh, I proposed using uh, a chilli crab to her. Which is and, my favourite dish. <laughs> that's her favourite dish, in fact, yes. And um, it's, it's, it's something very unique. And with the help of the staffs in Jumbo, and um, 
we really enjoy ourselves and 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 in fact the the concept was very it's very good uh, and you caught her by surprise and she just say yes Mr. C.H. Key has been bringing his corporate clients to Jumbo Seafood for over a decade. He believes it's a great place to do business. They always praise the great food at Jumbo. And since then, a meal at Jumbo is a must for them and they always look forward to it. For me, I'm happy to dine at a place where I know my clients will be well taken care of. But local customers can put a restaurant in a dilemma. As tastes change, Restaurants must evolve to keep up, but straying too far from what's familiar could alienate regular customers. How does Jumbo find a balance? A more affluent society means that more Singaporeans work, study and spend their holidays overseas. They're exposed to new dining and lifestyle concepts and the palettes have become more adventurous. Jumbo Group has reacted by delivering high standards of comfort and service. Well, in the past, diners enjoy seafood in a rustic environment. Plastic chairs and simple tableware were common. They add their piping hot chilli crabs in non-aircon environments. Today, we engage interior designers to provide a cosy environment for our customers. They also have a choice of alfresco or air-conditioned places for their dining pleasure. And yes, there's proper tablecloth, matching tableware, nice ambient music and so on for them. Regular management retreats are conducted to explore new dining concepts overseas. We provide various feedback channels for our customers so that we can better understand their food and lifestyle preferences. We have to use technology to improve the efficiency of our service and enhance customers' dining experience. We are among the first to use PDA to manage the placement of food orders and to introduce an online customer loyalty program called Jumbo Rewards. It also keeps up with changing tastes by holding internal competitions for its chefs to come up with bold new dishes that could end up on its restaurant menus. But it also keeps its signature dishes on its menu. In fact, Jumbo now has an HACCP certified central kitchen where most of the sauces and gravies used in Jumbo Group's dining concepts are made. This ensures consistency and quality. Signature dishes like the popular chilli crab now taste the same across all outlets, even if they're not in Singapore. Jumbo continues to put a premium on workplace cleanliness and standardisation. For example, in 2008, it implemented the 5S housekeeping method. This organisation method helps businesses to maximise efficiency and is used by market leaders such as Toyota. And to make sure all of this is working, it regularly conducts a mystery diner programme. An assessor posing as a customer gives feedback about food and service. Jumbo seems to have got the recipe for success right. They now run six seafood restaurants across Singapore, but success brings challenges of its own. New restaurants mean new staff who need to be trained. And with Jumbo's emphasis on constantly evolving to suit changing tastes, existing staff need to be retrained as well. So Jumbo devotes considerable resources to staff training, sending employees for workforce skills qualification and other professional training. We started with 50 staff and now we have more than 800. Despite the growing size of the organisation, our fundamental commitment to bring out the best in our people has never changed. We have invested much resources to put in place comprehensive training programs that would enable staff of all levels to succeed in their roles. Emphasis is also placed on our staff welfare to forge greater work-life balance. We strongly believe that when we take good care of our staff, they in turn will take good care of our customers. This has helped build staff loyalty. Jumbo's approach has certainly paid off with group executive chef Ng Chong Guan. Chef Ng joined the company as an assistant chef in 1991 and worked his way up through hard work, constantly honing his talents. I 
多年来在公司的支持和鼓励下，不断的给我机会学习。我更希望以我的经验和能力去培养新一代的厨师，把新加坡的文化承传下去。With the foundations of sound management in place, Jumbo has applied its systems to other dining concepts focused on Singapore's food culture. For J-Pot, our market survey showed that there was a lack of quality hot pot restaurants in Singapore. Hence, what we offer is a uniquely Singaporean take on hot pot, featuring many types of soup bases, quality ingredients, superior hygiene, and creative menus. We are lucky to have a close acquaintance with Mr. Ng Siak Hai. He's the chairman of our board, and he runs the famous Ng Ah Sio Bak Kut Teh Eating House in Rangoon Road. As Mr. Ng was retiring, he approached us to invest and take over his restaurant. So in January 2010, we took over operations of Ng Ah Sio Bak Kut Teh. Branding initiative were carried out to strengthen its image, coupled with effort to improve the customer service. Renovations were carried out to the original eating house at Rangoon Road. The result was a cozier, cleaner and more comfortable dining environment for our regulars with a 30% improve on business. In September 2011, Jumbo Group began Chui Hui Lin Teochew Cuisine at King Lee Road. This restaurant serves authentic Teochew cuisine using live seafood. Jumbo has also leveraged its reputation for consistent quality, creating mixes for some of its signature dishes so that diners can recreate the Jumbo taste at home. It's also growing its catering business. Jumbo Group has become more than just a place for food. For me, being in the food industry is very meaningful. I get to witness heartwarming family gatherings over food, successful business deal being clinched over a good meal, and tourists being completely delighted by our cuisine. At Jumbo, we believe in bonding people through the flavours of Singapore.